In this episode, I feature Sri Lanka's most popular tourist attraction, Sigiriya, which is one of eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the country and is considered the eighth wonder of the world. This is truly a remarkable place, so come along with me and let me show you around. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. Located in a rural part of the country, Sigiriya, or Sigiriya if you prefer, was built around the 3rd century BC and was used as a monastery for nearly 800 years. By the 5th century, Sigiriya became a royal palace. This national monument is essentially broken up into two parts, the massive royal gardens at the base and the royal palace at the top of this monolithic rock. In order to reach the top, it requires a semi-arduous hike up some 1,200 plus steps, which will take you about 45 minutes to an hour to climb. It's best to do it early in the morning to avoid the crowds and the heat of the day. So the kings that occupied this area never ever walked to the top. They actually had servants who would carry them. And they would have uh, two servants in the front that were much shorter than the ones in the back so that the king could stay level the entire way up. That's impressive. Sigiriya is considered an engineering marvel due to the advanced skills required to construct the fortress from sheer rock. The terraced gardens are formed from the natural hill of the base of Sigiriya rock. A series of terraces rises from the pathways of the boulder garden to the staircase on the rock. Now these have been created by the construction of brick walls and are situated in a semi-concentric way around the rock. Lion Rock, the English translation for Sigiriya, towers more than 600 feet from the valley below and is 1144 feet above sea level. You can see here how it gets its name, Lion Rock, with these two huge paws at the gate of the fortress. Apparently, there used to be a lion head at one point, but it sheared off by erosion over time. The gardens are divided into water gardens, terraced, and boulder gardens. The subsurface has a complex hydraulic system used during ancient times that are still functional today. During the rainy season, the water channels get filled up and the water is then efficiently circulated throughout the entire fortress, a system considered too advanced for its period. So it begs the question, where did this technology come from? My gosh, this place is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, this is steep. So steep. <laughs> I think there's 1,258 steps. 60 floors or something like that. Whew. Well, that's it from Sigiriya here in the heart of Sri Lanka. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more road trip travel videos. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.